This is such a great idea. Thank and Cam right. just says it all. Thank it's like, yeah. I love how you've been so open and you've talked. Mm. We couldn't have had this conversation about five years ago even. We no, couldn't. I think there's a really lovely sort of moment happening and a big sort of shift that people want to talk about things they're struggling with, especially to do with mental health. True. And, of course, the more people that talk and the bigger that conversation is, the easier it is on everyone because you don't feel alienated or yeah. isolated and, and that can be quite a big part of the problem as well. Very much so. Tell me about this incident. You're on the motorway. Yes, yeah, so, well, friend, weirdly... I'd started writing Calm already right. because I wanted to write more about mental health but in a different way and who doesn't want to feel calm? We all feel stressed in this day and age sure. on some level. Mm. So I'd started writing the book and life was quite hectic at the start of last year. We had a lot of stuff going on personally and, and friends that were getting sick and it was quite a stressful time. But I thought I was sort of coping mm. and I was OK and I've got young children and I was on the motorway driving. Felt perfectly fine chatting to a friend and then all of a sudden... It was more of a sort of physical manifestation that I just felt very hot and very lightheaded and my lungs were really kind of pumping air in and out very quickly and, and I'd never felt that before. It never manifested in that way. I'd felt anxious, but mm. this was a purely sort of physical attack. So I pulled over and a lovely chap from the AA took me home, which was very kind of him. Um, but it made me kind of stop in my tracks and, and think, actually, I'm not coping with all this chaos around me and I think I'm in control, but it is actually getting the better of me and and then went to a doctor and realized it was it was a form of a panic attack sure. or whatever label you want to give it but it was it was definitely an attack and since having opened up and talked about it there's a lot of other mums out there especially that are running on empty a lot and are having especially when driving weirdly because you're you have to be so focused and of course and if you've got i know you didn't have the kids in the car but yeah. you've got the kids in the car as well that's an added oh my god absolutely. responsibility absolutely. and worry absolutely. Too, yeah so i think for a lot of mums out there it's quite prevalent but you feel i feel like a bit of a freak like god no one else is having this everyone's coping just fine and no, i'm not. <laughs> not and then you realize you know yeah. when you when you write about it and that's yeah. the joy for me you know being able to be open and talk about these yeah. things and getting such a lovely reaction and knowing that people oh, are getting solace from it exactly. is, is nice because it's really the nice. feedback you got from the first book was was remarkable really and good. it really did show you just how many people out there are, are suffering because yeah. life is crazy it's mm. fast and because yeah. of social media you don't really switch off. You know that way no. you used to switch off at five o'clock and you'd go home. Mm -hmm. But now it's there. I know, it's constant. It's always there, isn't and I it? don't think we are designed to know at this point. It's very new to our social media and, and the extent of the internet that we can't actually cope with that onslaught of information constantly. And we're all trying to process it. And there's no rule book, and this is not a rule book, but there's no rule book saying you know, give yourself a bit of time out yeah. or if it's making you feel grotty, don't look at it. So I think the more we all sort of take a step back and rebel in some way, because yeah. it is brilliant too, but rebel in some way, then we can stay sure. sane through. You've got a lot. I mean, it says working through life's daily stresses to find a peaceful centre. But it's mm. not, it's very honest, Fern. It's not yeah. sort of, you know, airy-fairy, whatever. You no. Know, it's only going to apply to you if you're Gwyneth Paltrow. No. It's not like that at all. This is really good common sense advice. Yeah, I mean, it goes from, you know, all the banal stuff that we deal with daily that everyone's kind of, you know, floundering in yeah. to the more extreme, you know, um, post-traumatic stress and panic attacks and I've spoken to a lot of very interesting academics and GPs and people that are very knowledgeable about those mm. situations so it covers a lot of stuff and, and it's not me going hey guys you know I've got this sus this is my rule because everybody's it's, different aren't they no, it's We're me all going oh my god I'm going through the same as everyone else on, yeah. a, on varying degrees and, and let's talk about that and discuss it um, more openly if there was one thing you'd say to anyone because I know there'll be people watching this morning just hearing you speak and think that's me that's mm, absolutely me mm. anything that I mean apart from obviously getting a hold of this and reading the whole <laughs> thing is there anything that they could do right now do you think it's all about talking to one I another I think definitely um, communication is a huge one any mental health sort of a situation you're going through to be able to talk to someone else and, and have someone hear you and understand what you're saying and to maybe even say look I've, I've done I've been through that too is is huge it's so relieving um, I think if you're having panic attacks definitely see a GP it's always best to, to go down sure. that road but I think for sort of general stresses 
taking that step back, knowing it's okay to not have to do everything, be yeah. the best every day at everything, strive for some weird perfection that doesn't exist. You know, we're all doing that on some level, and mm. I think just to hear someone else say to you, give yourself a break, don't beat yourself up, whether you're a, a mum who's at home trying to juggle the kids or, or working, or whatever you're doing, relationships, friendships, just to give yourself that break, yeah. I think is, just take that step back is, is the first oh, move in the right direction. Couldn't agree with you more, mm. very, very wise. I mean, we, we kind of go through life thinking there's a team of like judges, like in Strictly Come yes. Dancing, that yeah. are going to go, you're not coping very well, you're not going to get a 10. Yeah. <laughs> it's just no crazy. one's coping really though. Like, no, like, we're not. Some people look just like, oh, they've through. got it sussed and you go, no, no. behind closed doors. <laughs> Doors. There's all sorts of pandemonium exactly. going on, and we're all exactly. the same. We yeah. are the same. Fern, thank you. It's always a joy to see you. And Cam is out right now. Yes, it sure is. Fern yeah. Cotton and thank you, Lorraine. Invaluable. Thank you so thank much. You.